main concepts in life <clears throat> is for a person to know himself, his or herself. To know who they are, what they are, who they are, not externally, because externally is very nice, but externally is fake. A person externally, you know, it's all fake. You know, when I'm in the synagogue, I put on this show. When I'm all, and at work, I put on that show. When I internally, we have to know who we are. And to know in Jewish tradition, to know who you are is very important in order to serve God. In order to serve God faithfully and truthfully and sincerely, we have to know who we are. But before we talk about serving God, we also have to remember in order in order to be a healthy human being, you have to know who you are. If a person doesn't know who they really are, and they're always fooling themselves, people think they're fooling other people. They're not fooling anybody else because no one else cares. So when we're putting on a show, who are we fooling? We're fooling <coughs> ourselves. So fooling ourselves, we're not healthy. it's not a healthy human being. Healthy human beings don't fool themselves. But in order to understand who we really are, first we have to understand what a healthy human being is. What is a healthy human being? Right? So in psychology, psychiatry, psychology, they tell you all the disorders. ODD and OCD and ADD and this DD and that DD and, the, the, and, and, and everything. They have labels for everything. And they even have, they don't have solutions, by the way. They have ways to monitor, to, to modify what, to, to lessen, to make more, to make light. But no one knows what's going on inside somebody else that they can solve it. So what's a healthy human being? What's a healthy human being? So let's first decide one thing. The definition of a healthy human being is what we learn in Chassidus and Tanya and what it says in many scriptures and books that his, a person's intellect guides his emotions. A person's emotions is guided by his intellect and only his intellect. What does that mean? That means as follows. If I want to do something, my intellect tells me, has to tell me if it's right or wrong to do. There's no such thing as I said the other day, I just couldn't take it, I lost control of myself. No, I chose to lose control of myself. It's my choice. And by the way, we're the only creature that God created that has this choice of our intellect guiding our emotions. We call that in, in the Hebrew lingo, mayach shelet The intellect... Is the brain. The brain, the intellect, <clears throat> the mind guides the emotions. We want things. <clears throat> How many times do we want to do things that they're wrong? They are wrong. And we know they're wrong. We know it's wrong. Can't control it. Say that again? I, I, no, 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 say it again. I couldn't hear. Can't control yourself. I heard you the first time. <laughs> I just wanted to hear it again. <laughs> you, you're right. I asked for it. <laughs> you did. There's no such thing as can't control yourself. That, you don't understand. The Alter Rebbe and the Maharal and the Shalah HaKadosh and the Arizal, in all their books, they write about this. There is no such thing as we can't control, unless... Unless, like the Alter Rebbe says, we're not healthy. Right? We're not healthy. If we're not healthy, because this is what life's all about. Life is all about, and this is Torah is all about, Yiddishkeit is all about self-control. Take, for instance, dietary laws. Keeping kosher. Right? What's it all about? It's all about self-control. Right? 
Now, I want something. There's my want. Who has a right to tell me I can't have what I want? So we all have different components. You ever hear the component that a person has reasons? What do we do with reasons? We try to rationalize what we do. Yeah, you're right. By the way, why is the word called rationalize? We rationalize to make it look good, to make it sound good, and justify what we do. It's rational lies. <laughs> it's rational lies. Says out to them, but there's no such thing. There's no such thing. Because they're all rational lies. That's number one. Now there's a person's will, right? I know it's wrong. I'm not justifying myself, but I still want to do it. How do you fight something like that? You don't. You don't. You can't fight. Yes, you can. But we'll get to that in a moment. The next thing is, we know it's not good and we don't want to do it. But we do it anyway. Why do we do it anyway? Because it, because there's so much pleasure involved. There's pleasure involved. If I know I'm not allowed to eat something, and I don't want to eat it, but somehow for some reason I ate it, am I still going to have pleasure from it? A hundred percent. I'm sitting in a restaurant, a tray for restaurant at a dinner meeting. And I'm having a, a, a can of Coke and everyone else is eating. And all of a sudden, somebody somehow says, Rabbi, taste this, just taste it and slip something into my mouth. No. Right? Let's say, no, oh. don't worry. I'd knock some, if someone would do that to me, I'd knock them down right away. <laughs> okay, I'd bulldoze them, okay? Don't worry. But let's say someone did that. I, 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 I want to spit it out, but am I having pleasure from it? Yes, you're having pleasure. You are having pleasure. So that's also something hard to fight. But let's go to the second one, the <coughs> will. A person wants something and no one can stop him. Right? One way we change what we really want. I want to go to this place. I want to go to that place. But if I know I put someone else's want in front of my want, Suey wants something, I want something. I tell Suey, you know what? I don't care, get whatever you want. Suey said, do you want it? Yeah, I want that. But if you really want that, take it. Gesundheit. Right? So I put Sui's want in front of my want. So that's the way I can fight my we want. We say we have to thank God. How do we thank God? One way is to wake up in the morning. Thank you for waking me up. Thank you for not putting my, my name in the obituaries. Right? Halila. Another way to thank God is putting his want in front of, before my want. Therefore, now I want what God wants. Yeah, but what do you, how do you know what God wants? There's a book. It's called a Torah. Mm -hmm. And it's called a Code of Jewish Law, Shulchan Aruch. And that's what we're following for thousands of years. And God hasn't changed his mind yet. Many people are changing God's minds. They think they're changing his mind. No one changes God's mind. Thousands of years, we, God wants the same thing from us. Then God that said by the Ten Commandments, I am the God who took you out of Egypt. That's the only I there is. When you get married, it's we. There's no such thing as I. When you go into a partnership and a business, there's no I, it's we. A whole life is we in the world. He's the only I. 
And we live our life because of him, because he wants us to live. Yankee Orman woke up this morning because God said, Yankee, you still matter. The funny thing is, I always use we. And in conversations and everything, business-wise, it's always we. And it has to happen at least once a day. Who's we? People ask, Really? They, oh, yeah, they'll say, who's we? I thought you were by yourself or something like that. No, this is what it's all about. Now I know how to explain it. Uh, it's all about we. Once, who's, who says what I want is what I need? Who said what I, what well, I want is right for me? A lot of people. Uh, and you know what happens? People want their whole lives things that are way above their needs and they don't need what they want to refine the world and not to refine it in an animalistic way and not to define it not to refine the world in an animalistic way is basically one way i don't always have to do what i want to do even though i'm allowed to do it you know hasidic hasidic philosophy goes one step further there's a Shulchan Aruch. There's a code of Jewish law. You're allowed to do this, you're not allowed to do that. And what you're not allowed to do, and certain situations you're allowed to do, it's called a heter. They find a loophole to do it in certain situations. But then there's one step further. This is what the Baal Shem said and the Alter Rebbe, the altar of the, Shul, uh, of the Tanya, stressed. It's Kadesh Atzmecha B'muter Loch. Sanctify yourselves with what is permitted to you, which means everything that you're allowed, you don't need. Everything you're allowed to do, you don't have to do. And in that way, we draw around us a fence, as Mr. Birig always puts it in the mornings, a fence to make sure we don't do what we're not allowed to do. And the Alter Rebbe stresses on this. Let's not be animalistic. How many of us, we, because we feel <coughs> no one's going to tell me what to do, all of a sudden God's out of the picture then. We edge God out of our lives. Because if no one's going to tell me what to do, you know what? Included in that no one is God. Anyone who says, no one's going to tell me how to this, how to that, how to eat, how to dress, how to, uh, how to, how to, how to, they're including God in the picture. And there's no doubt about we that. We have a vote in ethics of our fathers. Finish off, Mr. Birig. Don't do it to your, to your dying day. Don't believe in yourself till the day you die. Because you can be 98% good and still fall. The greatest rabbis, there, were, there have been greater rabbis of greater generation. At 80 years old. 80 years old that have fallen into the pit of sin. Okay? So there's no such thing. I'm 98%. I'm only 2%. Hogwash. I don't mean to stand over and show with a talus over our head a whole day and dive in and mumble and then talk to God. God doesn't want you to do that. Okay? Go into your office. Go out into the world. Go on your vacations. Go anywhere you want. Take God with you. How many people are there that go on their vacations but leave God behind? They go to work, we leave God in shul. Why? Because in shul, it's a sanctuary and it's holy and the Torah. But when I walk outside, God's over there. Yeah. My emotions say it. But it's business. It's Shabbos. Keep the business open. All the business is on Shabbos. God says different. But it's more it's expensive, the kosher food, and it's more this. This is Mayach Shelet Alalei. We're putting God in front of our emotions. Yeah, I want. I love so many people. I love so many things, right? Is there ever a time that you can love so many people 
and marry every one of them? No, right? You only marry one person, right? For our lives. Put God before our emotions. When we live a godly life, it doesn't mean we have to turn into black and white. The bottom line is, the bottom line is, black and white, black and blue, it doesn't matter. If we're black and white and there's no God in front of us, the whole thing is baloney. Baloney. Hogwash. We can put on a good show, right? But it's all hogwash. In front of our emotions. And by the way, that's why the Lubavitch should have said every, ra every person needs a mashpia, a mentor, a rabbi. To be able to guide him in the right direction. Because we can't guide ourselves. We, we can't. We're biased on ourselves. We can't give ourselves the right advice. It's a better world. More beautiful world. We live a, more of a beautiful life. A holy life. That's right. We're different than everyone else. We are different. The whole world tells why us. Does, this. Why the does the whole world tells us? Why this. does yeah, Europe? Sense. Why in Europe in the shtetl? We dressed all the same. We. Why? Because we stood for something. Right, and then came. They wanted to water down Judaism. The beards came off. The this came off. The clothes changed. The this changed. The suits got shorter. Right. And what's going on today? Look what's going on today That's with Judaism. What's going on here today? Look what's going on with Judaism today. Hey, tell me. Tell me what's there is no Judaism anymore. It's, it's disappearing. <laughs> I'll yeah. You know when people are going to respect us? When we respect ourselves. And when we put God before us, that's when everyone will respect us. When we live more godly, not animalistic. Have a good night. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Take it easy.